Amnesia. Amnesia. That's how I've heard it pronounced the most, I think. <laughs> uh, haven't really heard it pronounced very much, though, so whatever. Amnesia is part of the Humble Indie Bundle, for any of you who don't know. It, it's not the only place it exists, obviously, but that's where I got it. Uh, $10, great deal. I probably should have paid more for that. Anyway, Humble Indie Bundle, $10, got a bunch of great games. Super Meat Boy, Limbo, Amnesia. Uh, Limbo, Kurt J. Maxx been doing a playthrough on that, and it looks like a pretty cool game. I've, I've tried my hand at it just a little bit, and if you don't know the puzzles, which I didn't when I tried it, I was just like, uh, you eventually figured them out, but yeah, it's interesting. So, um... A little bit about our setup here before I start. Uh, I am playing Amnesia on my gaming computer here, so it's kind of off to an angle. I'm going to be kind of like this, so I don't know how that is. It's kind of at an angle, but it should be too bad. Let's see if I can adjust that a little bit more. There we go. It is in fact dark in here, and it is in fact night. It's a window. Uh, <laughs> so, welcome to my poorly lit room. Uh, for an Amnesia playthrough, and it's hitting the corner of my bookshelf. See up there, I have a shelf. This is right under a shelf, so there we. Yeah, I just don't like that corner there. All right, whatever. We're gonna have to live with the corner right here. Yeah. So anyway, Amnesia is uh, kind of a creepy thriller type game, from what I've heard. I haven't watched any playthroughs. I watched like two minutes of one playthrough uh, a while back to kind of figure out what kind of game Amnesia was. It looked interesting to say the least. Um, I haven't really. I don't know much about the map at all, so... Uh, I don't want the audio to reverb too much for you guys, because it's going to be recorded in-game. So I'm going to set my volume, but it's... I like having high volume. Uh, what a dilemma. Dilemma. I think I'll set it right there. We should be good. Sorry if the audio is a little bit crappy, guys. It's not quite synced up. I will try. But anyway, that is neither here nor there. There we go. It's a, it's a door as part of it. So, anyway, we are going to be playing Amnesia in a dark room at night with a webcam. Like, it's customarily done. Oh, so what I was getting at is I have a webcam over here. I didn't bother to buy one. kind of cheap uh, for my gaming computer. All right, that's probably a little bit loud for you guys. Isn't it? Um, so I did buy one for my... I didn't buy one for my gaming computer. However, I have a MacBook here, older MacBook, that has a webcam on it. So we're working with that. So sorry, it's a little bit low res, but hey, it's Amnesia. <laughs> It's grainy, it's filmy, that's okay. Um, you know what, I think I'm going to take James's suggestion. Where are my headphones? Alright, can't find them, never mind about that. This will be fun. So I'm going to create a new profile. Create. Select. And so, um, I don't know what's the deal with starting a new game or custom story. I'm going to assume custom story isn't what we're looking for. So I'm going to go start a new game. Uh, yeah, I think that's what I just clicked. Sorry if that is kind of loud for you guys. Turn it away from the speakers. Oh, that gets that computer in. There we go. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. My name is Daniel. I live in London at... at... Uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Don't forget. Focus. My name is... Is... I am Daniel. Good enough. Good. Nice to meet you, Daniel. I think I am Daniel, actually. Hmm. I'm either meeting Daniel or I am Daniel. One of the two. So, welcome Daniel to the live stream. Not the live stream, the recording thing. It's not a live stream. Uh, is that blood on the floor? No, it's not blood on the floor. No, it is. Let me tell. It kind of looks like it. It's kind of a. Either that or someone was having fun with some strawberry jam or something. I'm going to assume it's blood just for the sake of this. Memento has been added to the journal J. Ooh, I'm going to press J. That was exciting. Alright, so, a memento has been added to your journal. For quick access to your mementos, press M. Make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Alright, I'm stuck. <laughs> Alright, so... Oh, kind of close to the ground here, dude. Kind of like crawling along it. Uh, what are you doing? Go around. Oh, he's standing up. Alright, that's cool. Mm, ooh, a door blew open. Ooh. Oh, that's cool. 
<laughs> it's not just open or closed. You can set different degrees of open or closedness. That is impressive. Alright, so... Um... What am I looking for here? I can pick up these. This one, ooh, how do I pick it up? How do I... Oh. Left click. Alright. Looks like I can throw this bottle. Yay! Um, can I throw candles? I like to play with fire. Right, that was creepy, sorry. <laughs> Alright, um... Uh, I wonder how you crouch, because I would like to throw some timbers. Ooh, a chair! We can pick up a ch Oh yeah, we got this. Ha! Ah, I got a chair! Oh. I had a chair, then I got it stuck on a wall. Eh, grab another chair. Be more careful with it this time. Uh, oh, that chair's in the way. Let me squeeze around. There we go. Alright, so we have a chair. I think this is a pretty good start. Uh, put it on top of the strawberry grape juice. And... Let's see if there's anything in here. Um, a broom. Oh, how I would like to, like to lash at stuff in a broom. This might even be better than a chair. What's this? A tinderbox. Well, I never. Look just like the other tinderbox. Alright, so here's the... Oh, what did I do? I guess I clicked on it. Alright, cool. Is there a way to sprint in this game? Shift, I guess. As, as close to sprint as this guy's ever gonna get. Uh, go into here. It's around. It's like a dead end. Can we... No, why would I want to light those candles? I'm leaving. But it looks so pretty full. Um... Does this game, uh, and I know you guys can't really answer because this is a video that has been filmed after I asked this question, but does anyone know whether this is like a combat type thing or whether it's more of a uh, adventure? Because I have, I have yet to see any combat in the two minutes of playthrough that I watched, which was basically, it was midway through a series, I think. Can I break this? Oh yeah. This is fun. We're, 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 we're making progress already, guys. Let's try, oh, it opens inwards. All right. Move. Move. Not really as far... Uh, yeah, well, it's as far as we'll go. Can I take a tinderbox that was apparently used to light this? It appears so. Dun, dun, dun! Epic tinderbox discovered. Um, when I say epic, I do mean epic. It, it, it was a, a long poem in its past life. Making it an epic. Or epic, using as an adjective instead of a noun would totally nullify and void my previous statement, but I stand by it anyhow. Hmm. Suit of armor, that could be useful. Oh, I can throw around someone's, well, not really head, but like the, the armor for their head. I want a real head to throw around. Where did I throw it? There it is. Enough throwing. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, whatever. Alrighty, so we we're already in there. We we're already back there, so I guess we have to go this way. Oh, chair. Door. Chair. Oh, chair. No one's going to get in the way of my chair. No one. I know you're eyeing the chair. It's a perfectly natural feeling to eye the chair. Did I miss anything while I was staring at the webcam talking about chairs? Did I, like, walk by something important? Uh, everything's important! But, no, I didn't. So that's good. Uh, chair. Chair. Oh, I was trying to throw it down the hallway and then... There we go. Mm -hmm. What is this? Someone doesn't like chairs. Ah, so much for the chair. Hmm. I like how this, like, weird strawberry jam follows a specific path. I have this weird hankering to follow it. Hoping maybe there's a sandwich at the end of it for me. Ooh, dark, creepy. Anything over here? Hello, I got another head. Woo! Alright. 
Looks like we got a tinderbox right there. Doesn't look like it. Whoa, my views all warped and distorted the fight. Uh, did I like step in something weird? It's kind of annoying. Huh. Alright, well, whatever. Painting. I don't think there's anything else we're missing to me. Uh. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's move on. Can we actually pick this up? Oh, we could open the door. Alright, I thought I could pick that up and throw it around. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. But no, it had to ruin my hopes. And Come on, open. Open. You go in. Open. Blah, blah, blah. Alright, well, I don't think there's anything in there anyway. But I would like it to open, because I feel like I've been defeated. There we go. Now you open. Oh, come on. What do you mean both doors don't open at the same time? There we go. As my suspicions were, it is empty. So I shall uh, beware when standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes or search for other sources of light. I didn't know candles were considered lights that you could turn on. I thought they were more ignited, but whatever. So dark room, nothing to see here. Except a chair. As a chair. Uh, there's something I'm missing. I don't see much of a reason to light the candles. Uh, Alright, well, I guess that's it for that room. Especially because our guy is starting to get freaked out. You know, these in game characters. Melodramatic at least. Can I pick up this shirt and throw it at someone, please? Looks like it's a blouse. And currently no. I still like this strawberry jam. I really want to find out where it leads to. Me thinks it's a sandwich. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Door! I found a door! Da -da -da -da! Right, let's open it. If there's anything of value inside. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remained hidden in fear she too would be punished. Ooh. This thing's still in your way, isn't it? Sorry. At least it's not, like, beige colored. Not as distracting. It's more like a crop margin or something. So anyway, we're back and we're following the strawberry jam. Or, you know what? This color is not strawberry. This is, um... Oh, our guy's starting to get worried. We better hurry up. Poor guy. Um, that's, that, that's not strawberry colored. That's... What is that? Smucker's Artificial Grape? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, well... Water. Hmm, well, he doesn't seem as dumb as a chicken, because he can look up to him and do it not drown. That's good. Um... Shelves? Shelf? Tossed over shelf? Another tossed over shelf? Not seeing anything of much interest in here. I think I took a wrong turn at a the junction of scariness and jam. But you know, whatever, we can retrace our steps. Is this thing open? And he thinks no. Ooh, can I pick this up and throw it at people? No, don't I? What can I throw at people? Anything in here? This? What if I picked up the rune and threw that at people? I think that'd be a pretty effective weapon if you ask me. Following the jam. So I, I'm officially conceded that this is Smucker's artificial grape. Because nothing else is that kind of neon pink and still edible. Twine. Maybe Laffy Taffy. Dust storm, kind of odd considering up there. Uh, I guess the hole does extend up. It's kind of weird that a wind would be able to come from that trajectory, considering these windows don't appear to be open. They appear to be solid images in the texture file built into the map, not for um, so much lighting and wind ability or wind abilities as for stationary lighting. So wind couldn't have come from there. Wind couldn't have come from... Well, couldn't have come from out here. I gotta figure this out, guys. 
That window is also part of the texture map. Appears, so are all the other windows. It couldn't have come from there. The breeze, I don't think could have come from a closed window like that. It looks closed, if you ask me. Uh, even if it wasn't closed, I don't think this kind of window plus that window really could have provided that kind of ample wind. There's nothing really down there that would account for it, so I think I have to conclude that that wind was fake. Because I don't think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but wind from up there, I don't think it can just come down one, two, three, it looks like three or four stories down into here and make a perfect spiral. It would have more kind of hit the ground and curved up, and it's certainly possible wind did come from there, but it wouldn't have made that kind of shape, so I'm starting to get a little bit suspicious of fake wind. Who's with me? Ooh, I can hit people with a book! Woo -hoo, woo -hoo, woo -hoo. <laughs> oh, and a lantern, that could be useful. When our guy gets scared. Book. Can throw it at things. Um, anything else I can throw? Throw that. Throw that. Not really getting anywhere. Smucker's jam. Smucker's artificial grape jam isn't following itself. Actually, by the... What property would that be? It is actually following itself because it is a trail. And it is, in fact, on the trail. And when something, when you say I'm on the trail of something, it means I'm following or going towards a common goal of, because it is on itself. But you know, specific, specific, specifics. Hmm. Well, all right, this room looks pretty empty, but we did find a lantern, so that's quite good. Following the Smucker's grape jelly jam. Oh, look, another door. How convenient. Let's open it. And. Hmm. See, I really honestly don't think these windows are open. Hmm. Is that an earthquake, or is that my guy freaking out because there's an open window? Or is it a game glitch? I don't know. Alright, well, moving on. We seem to have found a shelf of various scattered and assorted papers with likely meaningless things written on them in order to, instead of, contain... Oh, I thought that was a book. Uh, still not useful though. In order to contain not words that could be meaningful if read, but since it is more of a blurry image than anything, probably it looks like a couple uppercase letters in nice font, plus uh, random writing that is not exactly legible, just at the point where they don't actually have to come up with content to write there, but where it still looks realistic and like it tells some kind of story. So that's that's my theory with the bookshelves. Especially the open pages, like the ripped out pages that unfortunately got covered by Smucker's Jam. Now here, something interesting to notice is that the Smucker's Jam trail, made by the giant Smucker's monster, presumably, was in fact painted... Is my guy freaking out again? Come on, don't do this to me. You're in broad daylight. You're in front of a freaking mirror. Or not a mirror, a window. Mirror, I could see why you'd be scared, if you know what I mean. But anyhow, so these papers were obviously on the ground before this jam monster went by, right? And this, these papers were probably taken down, presumably, off the shelf by the wind that whipped through from the ceiling at an impossible angle. Correct me if I'm wrong. That means, how, I'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see, sorry. That means, however, <laughs> that this Smucker's Jam Trail was made extremely recently. We might still have a chance to catch the Smucker's Man and demand free jelly before he leaves. We're hot on the trail. And what is that? Oh, candle. I thought I could pick it up. Sorry. Um, I think we should grab a book to read in the meantime for while we're waiting for the Smucker's Man to open up his big bag, which, you know, they put padlocks on these days. They put these giant padlocks because they're like, people are trying to jack my Smucker's Jelly Jam. And, and no one really is, but they have this weird psychosomatic thing with people stealing their jam. It's, it's quite unnerving. Can I put this in the furnace? That'd be cool. Fahrenheit 451 all over again. <laughs> In here, open up the door, open up the door, and another tinder box. Whatever this is. Matt, so it looks like. Oh, can I put that in the furnace? It'd be Fahrenheit, whatever the temperature is for uh, wool polyester. Well, did they. I don't know when this game is set. Did they have, poly, did they have polyester when this game is set? I, I'm not sure. Alright, well, that doesn't look like it's gonna happen. Let's sweep the floors. Uh, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. 
screensaver went on. There we go. Sorry about that. I need that lighting for my face for you guys to see. Um, ooh, what does this put? E makes me like fall to the floor. W opposite direction? Oh, that's cool. I never knew that. That might be very useful for when I want to... I don't know what that would be useful for. Alright, well let's clean up some of this jam here. Smucker's monsters don't clean up after themselves. Sweepy, 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 sweep. Sweepy, sweepy, sweep. Alright, this isn't going anywhere. I suggest we move on. New battle strategy. Move forward and find the Smucker's monster before he leaves. Oh, look at this. How convenient. The Smucker's monster led us right to a note that's highlighted in purple so that we can't miss it. 19th of August, 1839. I wish I could ask how much you remember. I don't know if there will be anything left after I consume this drink. This drink. Oh, don't oh, be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this: I choose to forget. Do you? Try to find comfort and strength in that fact. There is a purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. He will be no match for you. That means I'm young and strong in this game. <laughs> his shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. I have tried everything, and there is no way to fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us long is both, this letter? Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. Alright. So, <clears throat> a couple of things I got that are important from that letter. One, I'm young and strong, which is amazing. Uh, so, never mind my previous drug lab from here, okay? <laughs> um... And there was a second thing I got, but that was all I was focused on. So let's see here. We got this drink, which I guess is what he referenced in the letter. Oh, oh, that was the other thing I was going to talk about. The ambiguity of this letter, it leaves open so much to be said and so much to be questioned that the, the fear, supposedly, that it's supposed to strike into this Daniel character, or his former Daniel, or whatever's going on. I'm Daniel, by the way. Nice to meet you. Um, can you see my hand? Nice to meet you. Virtual handshake, virtual high five, uh, virtual fist bump, whatever. Anyhow, um, where was I getting with that? Oh yeah, the ambiguity. It really leaves. It's that's a really good idea on the designers of this video game's part. I have to give them props because that really leaves it open to the creepiness. Not so much coming from something creepy happening. You know, the letter. Ooh, go kill Alexander. He killed you. I am Arnold Schwarzenegger. But more of a. Um, kind of a mysterious open, so it's no longer a fear of the facts, so much as a fear of the unknown facts. Which makes, which adds an interesting twist, I will admit. Back to my Smucker Jam. I'm starting to think this might be, um, cherry flavor. Cherry would be more yellow, more red though, wouldn't it? I like the cherry one. So anyway, looks like we have a bottle, oh, an oil. Lantern drains oil when it is turned on to add more oil to the lantern. Double click on the oil light in the inventory tab. Or tab as in you press tab to get to it. So, lantern, not so much oil I have left. And I have five tinder boxes, a journal. I have a brain with a slight headache. And good health. Plus a thing of oil to add to the lantern when it burns low, I guess. So let's go over here. Sorry, I'm kind of tired. Um, why you no shatter? Must be made of Pyrex or something. No, that stuff shatters. It's not with heat. All right, this is futile. However, I think he would like a nice read. Ooh, something up here. Broken glass. That looks useful. What's this? A siphon? Ooh. Funnel. Um... What are these? Can I pick them up? Nah, they look like it. More stuff to throw off the shell? Oh, I can't even grab it. What is the... Oh, a lever. Hmm. 
did this just open up? I think, yeah, this just opened up. Alright, so probably, wait. Do we miss anything else in this room? Let's see. Go in here. Follow the Smucker's Jam Trail. Uh, we were already here, right? This was where, yeah, this is where I was trying to sweep the floors and trying to figure out the trajectory of that wind from over in that room, I think. Oh, and that's where I determined it was Strawberry Jam. So we have been here. Um, we've pretty much explored all of this room, it looks like. Do these ones break? I'm guessing no, because that would be kind of silly to make two different objects that look the same or have similar attributes, but behave totally different. But then again, video game designers do that. I'll probably do that at some point. And Prince Hall. And the other children cheered him on, his name voiced in a steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? Stop moving, I can't read. The young boy thought and struck his victim with a rock. Dun, dun, dun. I don't know if that's part of the storyline or just random tidbits made to scare you and totally confuse you. Not quite sure yet. So it looks like we're in a nice little foyer. It kind of reminds me of Luigi's Mansion in layout. Slightly. Um, Alexander, is it inside the there's castle? The, there's the cherry jam. In the manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. In fact, it lies beneath the very stone of Bredenburg. I like how no one has mentioned the strawberry jam yet. They're so concerned about this inner sanctum stuff, and they totally forgot there's a giant jam monster walking around, dropping multicolored jam, and no one's concerned. That worries me. That's the scary part of this game. Alright, so I don't really know... The other ones are pretty linear as far as where you go. This one's more branchy. So I'm gonna go this direction, because this looks the least promising, so I can rule it out. Now... Oh, I can open it. Cool more lighter fluid or oil or whatever, and another tinder box could be useful. Can I pick it up? Come on, let me pick it up. There we go. Alrighty, um, maybe they're trying to stop those random, ill-formed, and oddly angled wind gusts with these planks. Oh, this looks like some good reading here. Um, look, Ro Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. You know, I really didn't, um, I remember in seventh grade when I first did, oh, hey, look at that, can I kill it? die. Yeah, they're just roaches. So when I was in seventh grade, I, um, we started in on reading Shakespeare, and it was, at that point, I was just totally kind of blown away at, you know, what was going on, and the, all, all the different language, and the, you know, where forth art thou, and everything, and, uh, really, as I, as that kind of fermented in my mind for two years after reading it, and have it th having it thoroughly explained to me, when we got to ninth grade, and we read, um, we read Taming of the Shrew. I actually, I enjoyed it quite a bit, and then we reread... Hmm. I think the Jam Monster does not want me to enter. But he did use my favorite Cherry Jam, which is a nice gesture on his part. So where was I? Oh yeah, 7th grade. Um, we, we read Romeo and Juliet, and then when I got to ninth grade, and we read um, Taming of the Shrew, I was kind of used to the language, and the story was actually quite fun. Sorry, is this guy... This, that's not reflect, reflecting. Alright. Just making sure it's reflecting on the screen, but not on the camera. Yeah, alright, cool. So anyway, um... So it was kind of a nice uh, lead-in or intro, or kind of a soft introduction to... Ah, uh, my frames are off sync. Dang it, I hate it when they do that. Let me see if I can't change that option real quick. Sorry, guys. Um... Advanced options. Insanity... Yes, we want insanity enabled. Old reflection. I don't see. Am I missing it? I don't see the thing about um, about frame syncing. All right. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to deal with non-sync frames. Sorry about that. I don't know if it's coming through in your end or if it's uh, or if it's just on the GPU. But either way, it's definitely showing my end. The monitor like kind of splits in half. Half half of a frame, like half of the movements here, half of it's there. So this one's one pixel off as far as where you've moved or the rotation. So. Sorry. Although it is running at exactly 60 frames per second, according to Fraps, so I shouldn't be having issues considering this is a 60 hertz monitor. So anyway, we're back to here. The jam monster didn't like us over there, so let's try. Let's try pursuing the jam monster over other avenues. 
Uh, I like his consideration with the cherry, though. That was very appreciated. Is this where it... No, this is not where it came from. Let's go down here. This doesn't look... Oh, man, we have a fork in the road, and they both have... Oh, wait, no. Oh, yep, they both have doors. This might take a while, guys. <laughs> no one's episode to run much past 30 minutes, so... We shall see. Software updates are ready for your computer. Uh, software updates for your computer are ready to be installed. Do you want to install them now? No, that's okay. Thank you, though. See, Gargantua's buying a lot of glass. It's interesting. This is a server right here for Minecraft. So basically, alright, guy's trying to have insanity and he's going, Whoa, I'm like in the door. Can I move my window in? Oh, the window didn't fix it. Hmm. It's one over the torch line. So anyhow, um, yeah, well, after reading it once and getting kind of a nice, again, impossible wind. Come on, guys. Come on. It's not that hard to add a window that's open. So anyway, as I was saying, maybe those windows are open. Maybe I'm giving them too little credit. Let's examine these. Ah, no, you know what? We don't have time. We gotta get going. We gotta keep moving. Moving. Find that jam monster. Like a torch. And it's burning and a blazing and a fire and a roaring. And I can't run up. So. Oh, more of this. That's convenient. Anything over there? Nope. Doesn't look like it. Anything over there? <sighs> sorry. I'm so sorry. A barrel. Well, it's filled with oil. It's worth, what, about $100 at market value? Guys, can I keep your barrels? Mm, they didn't answer. I'll take that as a yes. Is there something moving? No, it's just a torch. I was hoping for like a zombie or something. It's just a torch. So here's some light. You should start regaining some sanity, right? No, that rhymed! I just said I'm bad at rhyming and then I made a loose rhyme. <laughs> I feel good. See, it kind of looks like a zombie from here. Just let your imagination take over from kind of this weird angle. But no, nope, that angle doesn't make sense. Ooh, bright flash. There should be more coolers. Oh, right. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua fortis. Ooh, aqua fortis. Right again. At the end of his little spiel. All right. Yeah, I guess it was. So why is there a water? Oh, I see the water down there. Why is the water texture going down the walls? That's suspicious. That's very suspicious. Water texture should not be running down the walls in that way. It should be not in a... See, because this... Just take a moment here. I'm sorry I'm taking so much time with this. But... Is my guy freaking out again? You have light right above you, dude. Don't do this to me. Alright, so you see this kind of texture. You usually see that over... And by the way, it fragments there, which is kind of cheap. But anyway, you usually see that over a stagnant pool of water that's slowly waving in the sun, and that's how it reflects light. However, you do not see that in flowing water, generally. Uh, in real life, you never see that in flowing water. Now, if it's at that kind of incline, unless gravity's working in different ways upon this water, and I don't know, maybe the Smucker's Jam Monster has some tricks up his sleeve. Has some sleeves up his trick, yes. So anyway, this would be flowing instead of staying in the stagnant texture. So that's why I suspect there is some kind of vacuum in here, but the problem is these appear perforated, meaning that this is probably some kind of strong glass to withstand a certain amount of pressure to make a near vacuum simulation. Uh, also, even that wouldn't fight off gravity, it'd just make it possible to... My guess is that they just used one texture for water and applied it to the walls, personally, but that's just me. Meh. I understand why people get lazy with this kind of stuff, with making... I'm criticizing this game because I've tried game design and I'm currently working on it and they're doing so much of a better job than I did, <laughs> or that I'm doing. I'll, sh I'll show you guys, when I criticize, it's... Ooh, I want to try that again. Wait a second, the water level was above. So that's why the reflections... Hmm. Alright, if you look really closely, that reflection that, um is of this thing, I presume, almost looks like it's a pumpkin. 
with an eye that moves. And I'm pointing at the monitor like you guys can see where I'm pointing. See that? It's like right in that square. It's kind of cool. Someone knew what they were doing with their shading. So anyway, I'm going to try to throw something else down. Oh, that's not the button I want to press. I'm used to pressing E to pick something up. What game is that that I press E to pick something? Oh, 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 Borderlands. That's what it is. Splash, sploosh, splunk. Alright, well, that was exciting. Um, and three for good measure. Or just stick on the grill and totally ruin my whole thing. Bottles and their in cooperatives. Even though I know that's not a word. That's okay. We are going in there. There we go. Do the water level change? If I get changed to very sus. Well, I guess the bottle would place, displace a certain amount of water, therefore rising the level appropriate to the volume of actually by standing the light so it doesn't freak out. Um, appropriate in proportion to the total volume or the total outside volume, effective volume, uh, counting the trapped air that cannot escape or fill with water or be redisplaced uh, of the bottle. And that's actually how um, originally a, um, I forgot who it was, but there was some king who asked some servant, I know I'm wasting time here, sorry guys, who asked his servant, I want you to know, find the volume of this crown for something that's where there's like pure gold and rubies and gems and whatever. And there was no geometric way he could measure it, so uh, he ended up actually, um, the servant figured out a way to measure how much water it displaced and then take from there the approximate volume that the item took up. So, so if they did factor that into this game, that is pretty cool. But uh, me thinks it's just my eyes playing tricks on me because it's late at night and I'm falling asleep. Now, um, what's this? Chemistry pot. Ooh, now we just need a uh, physics marker and a biology book. We'll have fun. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The thermal compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense that I am close. I put that that I am. Well, he had the I'm, the contraction, but calamine and orpiment. 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 Are a, are, are a given, and the cooperite binds them well. This time I will attend Aqua Regia. That sounds oddly familiar. There's something else with aqua, which is water, so it sounds like they're just selling water potions, kind of like snake oil. Just my personal take on this. Where was I? Something, 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 they serve aqua fortis. That's the thing I was remembering, aqua fortis, which sounds like, you know, they make like a fort out of water and sell it. Sounds fun. In hope that it will produce an even more even solution. I transpose an even in there. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid. Why don't you just say acidic? And proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Well, I could use a good detergent. These clothes are kind of fading a little bit. Um, actually, yeah, I have a science bowl shirt, and this isn't a science bowl shirt, but um, it was this like nice, really deep black, and now, like, what's... two years, two and a half years later, it's faded to gray. So I could use this detergent if it's if it doesn't remove color. But at any rate, organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Down. Alright, well, I don't feel like lighting those. It'd be kind of a waste of timbers. I'm assuming they're I'm assuming they're expendable or else you wouldn't be able to have six of them. Uh, if they were like RuneScape's tinders which just you know you can use them however much you want. There's no point. I like the way it reflects in a perfectly square fashion. Shouldn't it bleed over to the edges because the light reflecting would be going back and forth? That's the point of this that line that I'm pointing like you guys can see right that line there those things would actually be bubbling over into the other side when they swayed, so it wouldn't be this rigid cut. But then again, I understand, you know, shading is a difficult task in creating video games. Now, was there anything exciting? No, I thought that was a passage for a second. I can't jump down there, right? There's no way to get down there. There's the little Halloween guy saying, sending his condolences to you. There's a ground over here. Oh, no, it's just a chest. Throw it at people. This one over. Does and as a ooh, a tinder box. I found a box. Yeah, I got a box. Rag box. 
I don't know how people use the word swag these days. It's like people just scream swag, swag, swag in the hallways. But everyone's like, yeah, swag, man, swag, 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 swag box. Oop, screen saver. There we go. Sorry about that. So, swag in the box. I know another song that involves putting something in a box. I won't sing it for you. That's because of my bad singing voice and because of the lyrics. Double whammy. We were already here. This is where we had another bad wind experience. And dust clouds. It's like decimated parts of a jam monster and dissected frogs. Maybe that would explain why they have the chemistry thing. It was it was a school previously, and so they had frog dissections in the biology class. That's why I'm still looking for the biology book. Which is kind of a funny time because I lost my biology book for class. I probably should have explained that before I made the joke, but whatever. So nothing much down there, although we did get an extra timber box, which might be useful. I think I'm going to cut this episode short here. Um, well, not short. It's actually cutting it long. We're running up on 45 minutes. I think that's when I'm going to cut it. Somewhere around there. This stupid pimple on my nose. It itches like crazy. But anyhow, uh, thank you for... Well, I'm not going to say that right now. We're still on a whole four minutes and not three seconds. Two, one, zero. Anyway. I'm going to keep going until then, see if we can't get at least a little bit further. I think it just pulled my attention this way. Am I, did I mistaken something, or did my mouse glitch, or did it like pull me, like, say, here? So I'm not going to go that way. Because I figure this is probably some kind of secret, kind of, one of the things you don't get if you just follow straight through. Although I might be wrong. But I like, I kind of like, that's why I'm doing completionist in Minecraft. I kind of like being a completionist in some games. It is locked and will not open without a key. What if I keep clicking it? Does that count as a key? Rage click. Wait, I can do my two finger click. Alright, I don't think it's gonna open. Alright, so let's continue on. Continue on. Move along, move right along. Right along, we got a jam monster to find, and the clock is ticking. The clock is ticking, those guys tend to eat themselves. We don't want that, because then the resale value of the jams dramatically decreased. I'm assuming this won't also open because there's giant wooden plaques like nailed shut over it, but yeah, whatever. Um nice sunshine. Very nice. Now this looks kinda like a dead end if you ask me. But as long as you don't get any wind in there, I'm happy. Um uh, more sunshine. Don't go crazy dude. Tabularium. Can I buy an iPad here, or a Microsoft uh, Surface, or what kind of tablets do you sell? Hello, sir. I guess they're closed. Office hours are between 8 and 6, and it's midnight. Yeah. Archives. Are we already in the archives, or did we... No, we couldn't have been in the archives, because we haven't been through there. So this archive sounds familiar. Hmm. Oh, I forgot to read the eerie text! Dang it! That's always fun. Alright, yeah, this does not look familiar. I have not been here before. For some reason, archives sounded familiar, though. This is a different part of them. Can I kill a roach with a book? I'm curious. If they do, I'm going to really compliment these guys on their coding skills. <laughs> to account for a book smashing a roach. That oh. Roach, give me the book, give me the book, I wanna smash it, I wanna smash it, alright. Oh, wow, these guys are crafty, I like their AIs. They see me with the book, they run and they roll. Um Nah, it doesn't look like it. Alright, well, this is as close as an iPad as I think we're gonna get here, a piece of paper with scribbles on it. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Of course there's more. Later it's a video evening, game. It can't We uncovered a passage more. beneath the dunes <laughs> leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. 
Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Sorry guys, I usually go to bed before this, so I'm like really sleep. My body's like, what are you doing? And we're running up on 45 minutes, we just passed it, so I think this is a good place to stop in a nice lighted area so our guy won't freak out. <laughs> So thank you for joining us, this has been Amnesia, and we will be doing more of these, well I will be doing more of these, uh, James unfortunately isn't here, that would be fun doing a dual player, I mean, Amnesia doesn't support multiplayer though, as far as I know, so, but anyway, thank you for joining us, thank you for joining me, and I will see you next time, it's weird recording video on two devices, I'm going to have to sync that up later, goodbye.